Let's discuss dielectrics and their use in manipulating capacitance. In an ideal capacitor, the electric field between the surfaces can be determined solely based on the charge distribution along those surfaces. This, of course, assumes that nothing significant disrupts the electric field in between the surfaces. A dielectric is an insulating material that is susceptible to polarization in an electric field. What would happen to the dielectric and to the capacitor if we combine the two? When exposed to an external electric field, the charges inside the dielectric are going to redistribute themselves, i.e. they will become polarized. This in turn is going to create its own internal induced electric field. The result is going to be an altered total electric field. This means that to create the same electric field as before, we need to increase our initial external electric field from the capacitor. The result for the combination of inserting a dielectric inside a capacitor is that to maintain the same voltage, the total charge on the capacitor is going to have to increase. This increase in charge buildup and hence capacitance is described by the proportionality modifier kappa. This is a number greater than one and depends on the particular properties of the material involved. As a side note, many people are confused about the difference between dielectrics and semiconductors.
the property of dielectrics to polarize but insulate against charge flow has a limit. Beyond certain conditions, this insulation is going to break down and the charges will start to flow. From that point forward, we treat this material as if it was a conductor. To get more visuals and practice, it is recommended that you try out the simulator from phet.colorado.edu. Under the dielectric tab, you can experiment viewing electric field lines with calculated capacitance, charge, and stored energy while manipulating the dielectric constant of the material you are inserting into the simulation.